little mishap. We were not supposed to go to this place. We were going to the fish hatchery one. We're gonna literally run there as fast as we can. On our way up. Um, trying to get the best view, and I'm gonna come through and look for the heart rate is right there, which I always like to grab right away just to show you. So it's ticking right there, and then we'll do the head to bottom measurement second here. But heart rate looks really good. The video you just saw was our first ultrasound where we got to see our baby's heartbeat for the first time. And now the first 20 weeks of Jess's pregnancy went to be expected. There's some nausea some morning sickness unfortunately, but overall we were excited to meet our new little baby. Now I'm gonna read this next part off of my phone here because Jess helped me type up the right timeline and all the facts that kind of went on. So here we go. At our 20 week ultrasound we got some pretty alarming news. One of the measurements on the 20 week scan looks at a baby's nuchal fold. Now to put this in layman's terms, a nuchal fold is on the baby's neck or part of the baby's neck that normally isn't super thick. Well, our baby's was thicker than normal, and that could be an early indicator or warning sign of a congenital heart defect or possibly some chromosome abnormalities. And then right away we were shuffled into a separate office space uh, where we talked to a high-risk maternal fetal medicine doctor and a genetic counselor. Just had labs drawn that day for genetic testing and to look for any chromosomal abnormalities. And a few weeks later, we had a fetal echocardiogram to look at the baby's heart. What made this an even more trying time was the fact that all of this took place over Christmas, which was especially challenging because labs were slowed down, so getting the results back from all these tests just took an extra long time. Luckily, we have some pretty great family and friends who were extremely supportive during this time and really talked us through things and <laughs> just really helped keep Jess and I's emotions in check. A couple weeks later, we finally got our test results back and they said we basically had 0% chance of having any chromosome abnormalities in the baby, as well as any heart defects. You never think something as crazy as this is gonna happen to you, but it does happen. And I think that's still a stereotype a lot of people have. And I think the best way to approach things like this are to talk about them more and have an open conversation with each other and reach out if you need it. We are here at John and Sherry's house for Easter weekend. <laughs> Jess is still pregnant, as you can see. This is our second walk. Yeah, second walk the today. The first one, I broke my shoe because my feet are so swollen. <laughs> so and now she's got uh, Aubrey's Crocs on. Yeah, thank you, Aubrey. We also had to cut through some backyards because I was about to pee my pants <laughs> at the very end of it. So it's going really well. Going swimmingly. <laughs> I'm literally going to pee my pants at that. <laughs> One drip for every step. I might have peed a little bit there. Everybody pees their pants sometimes. You might be hearing Jess really push through the, the contractions right now, but I just want to let everybody know I'm kind of working through some stuff too. Like I ate a lot of food and drank a lot before this and I'm trying to breathe. I just try to make a pack. I feel like I'm doing a little bit better job. Shut up. All right, so I had an OB appointment and my doctor wants to induce me at 37 weeks, which is in one week. Kind of freaking out a little bit. Might have had a little mom guilt moment where I was crying just thinking about like only having one more week with just Natalie. Um, but I'm really excited to meet this baby. And now I get to go tell Sam that we're gonna have a baby in like a week when we thought maybe we had a few. So that'll be fun. He'll probably freak out. Shocker, I did freak out a little bit. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did it kick you? <laughs> Do you feel that? <laughs> Is it a brother or a sister? Baby. It's a baby. Is it a... Piper. <laughs> you wanna go in the hammock? Okay. Free free. Free free. 
she's trying to get up here. Are you excited for the baby to come? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to be a good big sister? Yeah. Natalie and I are walking around the zoo enjoying our Natters and Mommy date. Say hi. Mommy Do you see the donkey? I didn't realize that Sam was going to be at the zoo with us too. Are they saying roar? They are scary. They are scary? They're not scary, they're just talking to each other. What are they saying? They were saying roar, roar. They were saying roar, roar. It's the night before a baby comes and we're gonna have two children. <laughs> we have to leave extra early in the morning because the Midwest Horse Fair is apparently a thing that's happening tomorrow. If you look down here, you can see Jess's toes. Just how swollen her feet are now. Daddy, those aren't fins. Those are her feet. Need to get this baby out to get the swelling down and that's primarily the reason we're well, not because I'm swollen, but no. my blood pressure's high. Which is dangerous because... They're afraid I'll develop preeclampsia and then have a seizure or a stroke or die while I'm giving birth. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to be a 28-hour labor like Natalie was. Oh gosh. My doctor assures me that it'll be at least half of the time. <laughs> Only 14 hours. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Happy baby day. Yay. Did you see a beautiful sunrise and a beautiful rainbow both in the same time? Oh my gosh. It's a freaking double rainbow. <laughs> Who's grandma here already? Yay. You got some crazy bedhead. <laughs> oh, right to the trampoline. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. These are your last moments with mama together as a single child. <laughs> <laughs> We have arrived, yay, and we have the official last expectant mother spot. If that's not good luck besides the rain, I don't know what is. We are in the birthing suite. We have quite the view out of our window here of the air duct system. <laughs> and uh, there's some gentlemen working in the rain, unfortunately. Hope you guys stay dry. You haven't got any medicine or anything yet to start it. We're about to start that process. My first blood pressure was 130 over 88, so not- That's not too bad. Not too bad. Better than what you've had. <laughs> yeah. Doing our first walk around the loop here. Nothing too crazy happening yet. It's kind of weird to be in this same room and know what to expect. It's like good and bad in certain different ways. Like I can like anticipate the like discomfort that I'll be in and stuff. Maybe You're gonna to try to go something. all the way without an epidural again, right? I'm gonna try and see what happens. I don't get a medal either way. <laughs> I have to remember that. Scan and make sure baby's head down because if that has changed, then I hope not. Since no, I doubt <laughs> it, but you know, changes the whole calculus of this. And then, what do we give the dad for pain management? <laughs> Is it like a sandwich, morphine? <laughs> you get the pleasure of continuing to eat and drink the whole thing without puking it up. Really. I got my sub away. The lady there was like, uh, you know, to let me know what you guys have. Come back up and let me know. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> when you want me to leave, you, you tell me to leave. <laughs> I'm assuming they'll like check me or something. I think my water just broke. That's what I just say when you call say, oh, the hit water broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you walk 
through a storm. You can scream. Oh, oh, scream yeah. if you need to. Oh, yes, it's fine, Jessica. It's fine. And don't be. Yes, you're not yet. You're so good, sweetie. Keep it up. At the end of storm. Right through that. Go, 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 go. Look down. Go down. Little bit of breath. Little bit of breath. Take a breath. Okay. Go. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is it? It's a boy. <laughs> Are you excited to meet your brother? Go get your shoes, okay. you think he likes his bed? I do too. Natalie, if you're watching this at some point in your life, I can't express to you how proud I am of you and the willingness of your <laughs> little three-year-old self to put up with your brother when he's cranky, play with him in the mornings, keep him entertained, make him laugh if he's upset at certain points, and just be there for him learning and feeding him and all these different things that you're such a good sister for. I can't end this vlog without mentioning Jess's mom again, Heidi. Jess has been doing all these moves basically from when we first got to the hospital up to the point she actually pushed Mason out because she is trying to get his head in the right position and at a certain point Jess kind of had a mental breakdown on a toilet in the bathroom was saying she couldn't do it anymore due to the pain. So we're like, it's okay, you could have an epidural. Well, as soon as we said you can have an epidural and all the nurses went out to get it prepped and everything, that's the point that Mason turned over in the right position and he decided it was go time. I was right next to Jess filming and I kind of froze. And Heidi was right below Jess saying you could do it, you could do it. And honestly, you almost had to catch Mason coming out. This is one experience I will never forget and I think Heidi will never forget either. I'm very proud of you, Jess, and I'm very proud of the family that we formed together. Mason's gonna be one year old here in a couple months if you can believe that. I feel like there's going to be so many more fun adventures our family's going to be able to go on together. And I can't wait to see what those are going to be.